in Brazil. They told me that I had a scholarship in Miami. It was a big thing. That's all I wanted to come to America and dance because the arts in Brazil, we don't have that much. Um, Asia pays second. Asia paid in the air. I have to see second in the air. Second, fifth. Second, fifth. Right. I have to see that in the air. Yes, Mayumi. Excellent. Now, can you do it without me hearing you? The tools that a dancer learns in the classroom will take them through their whole lives. The dedication, the focus, the tenacity, the determination. This is how you get to a great company like Miami City Ballet. One. This is the time of the year that you have to do the audition when they're signing the contracts. I can't think about anything else. All I want is like, to be in this company. Every point shoes that I get, we get four pairs a month. I usually go through one pair a week. Point shoes are so expensive. They're around like $70. Every money that I'll get, I'll like save it to, to buy point shoes. I'll be like, mom, she will ask me like, what do you want for your birthday point shoes? <laughs> All right, so here, my parents, my dad, my mom. My dad is an orthopedics and my mom is a nurse. And then here, my brother, my grandparents, and then over here, my cousin that just born. I never got to see him, but they sent me some pictures of him. When I did the audition to my MC to ballet, my mom, she was telling me, that's your dream, that's what you want. And I was like, mom, I don't know yet. I love ballet, but I was still like, should I go to school and be like my dad, like a doctor, and then, I think a lot and I was like, I should go and try it out. And then I came when I was 14. My dad gave me my Santana. He liked to protect me and I love to have close to my bed. And reminds me a lot of him and it makes me like not miss them so much. If you're doing the step right, you'll do the step in one square and you're using your turnout and you're not going anywhere because the minute you're using the turnout, the dancer stays right where they're supposed to be. All right, all together. No noise. For all the dancers to get in a company, you have to videotape yourself. So you can send it out for all these big companies. But for me right now, my brain is all my MCD ballet. I can't think about anything else. My second year, I found out that I was getting an apprenticeship to work a little bit with the company. I like, wow, it's getting there. <laughs> My dream is getting there. You know, an apprentice is a big step that happens with a dancer from the school to the company. And so we give them a year, sometimes two, for them to come and take company class. They understand the rehearsal schedule. They understand what a professional dancer's day is like. When I came, I was like, oh, I have a Brazilian girl, Natalia, in the company. And I could picture myself because she's also from the same country that I came. Seeing her dance is just amazing. You're student apprentice. Mm -hmm. and you're being it's put to like first cast, first, you know, mm -hmm. before even some it's core some, members. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's how much I trust it's you. True. I remember my first shows with the company mm -hmm. when, when I was in your position, <laughs> I was position. like, I was so nervous. Like, oh my gosh, this is oh amazing. My God. Every like step that I do in class is like <laughs> reaching for my contract, reaching for my dream, because it's all I want right now. It's everything that I do, I'm thinking about getting a job. It's so close. It's like, I feel that I can almost like touch it. My dream is like, your contract. <laughs> it's like, come on. You're in the right track, you know. You're very, very lucky girl. You're so close. You're a lucky one. Everything's on the line for a dancer to land that first contract. I feel it's the hardest time in any dancer's life is going from being a student to that first job. 
They would all love to be in this company, but they know that's probably not a possibility. So they understand that competitive side of things. I don't really know what I would do if I don't get in with the company. You never know. In ballet world, you never know. I love to come to the beach to walk around a little bit, to like really relax because we're so stressed. All the rehearsals, all the things are coming up, the job part. In Brazil, there's beautiful beaches everywhere. In times I'm like little, we love to go to the beach in Rio. And every time that I look out, I remember so many good memories from my entire life. It's really hard to be away from my family. I wanted to be here because that's my dream. But in the end, we feel so good on stage, then you wanted to keep doing it because that's where we show everyone what we can do. Today, it's February 13th, Friday 13th. I have rehearsal all day in the theater with the company because on Tuesday, my MCD Ballet is going on tour to Canada and I'm going with them to tour and I'm so, so excited. I met Mayumi four or five years ago and we lived together and both of us are apprentices. We get along well because, you know, we're we're both fighting for the same position in the company and we both want to be the ballerina. Naomi and Ella have been together for so many years now. They both have been in the school together. They've come up the ranks together. They're close in that sense, but at the same time, they're vying for possibly one or two contracts in the company. So there's this edge to that relationship that is inevitable. I think they handle it beautifully. I'm sure there are days where there's some tension that maybe I'm not aware of. In ballet, there's always gonna be a competition. This time, it's even worse because everyone one is part in the company. We can always be like fighting for something. We try to help also, but we have like that thing inside of us that we want it to be me, like I want it to be me. So it's the competition, it's always there. <laughs> stage is the best feeling. It's showing the audience what you can do and you just feel like you own the stage and you feel beautiful and it's what we all work for. I really try to be myself and I try to show that I love what I do and show a little bit of my Latin side and a little bit of my Japanese side. We always try to be ourselves. That's all we need to like show what we love and to show what we can do.